from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 25th, 2021. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has arrived in the United States, his first overseas visit since taking office. Bennett landed at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland this morning and was photographed later at his hotel room in Washington, beginning his first official day with morning prayers. Bennett first met today with the CEO and president of APAC, Howard Kaur and Betsy Burns Corn, respectively, at the hotel, and this afternoon met with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and then with Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin at the Pentagon, meeting this evening with U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. Tomorrow, Bennett will meet with U.S. President Joe Biden at the White House. Renewed riots today at Israel's border fence with Gaza. Several Palestinians lit tires on fire near the security barrier, but most kept their distance from it. And the IDF used riot dispersal means to keep the crowd from getting too close to the security barrier. If you recall, this past Saturday, a large number of Palestinian rioters rushed the barrier wall and one of them shot a gun through an opening, critically wounding an IDF soldier stationed behind it. Police in the UK are looking for a man suspected of two separate assaults on identifiably Jewish individuals. The incidents took place in the London neighborhood of Stamford Hill last week where a 64-year-old Jewish man was punched to the ground and a young Jewish boy as well was punched while riding his bike, seemingly by the same suspect. CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt, thanked the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, for his strong condemnation of this vicious assault. Khan had said, I utterly condemn this appalling attack. Let me be clear, racist abuse and hate crime, including anti-Semitism, have absolutely no place in our city. Arab-Israeli Knesset member Saeed Al-Harumi has died. Al-Harumi was a member of the Ram Party and was chairman of the Knesset Interior Committee. He hailed from a Bedouin community in the Negev in southern Israel and was a leading advocate for that community. Al-Harumi suffered a heart attack this morning. He was 49 years old. Israeli leaders extended their condolences to Al-Harumi's family over the untimely death, including Prime Minister Bennett and President Isaac Herzog, who called him a wise and cheerful man and an honest representative of the Bedouin community in the Negev. The 2020 Paralympic Games began yesterday in Tokyo, and Team Israel has already won a gold medal and has made history. Arab-Israeli swimmer Iyad Shalabi won Israel's first gold medal at the Games, also becoming the first Arab citizen of Israel to bring home a medal. Shalabi, who was born deaf and mute, and then at the age of 13, had an accident that left him a paraplegic, won his 100-meter backstroke final today. Israeli officials lauded the win. Israel's culture and sports minister, Chili Tropper, said of Shalabi, Iyad is an inspiring man whose life has been full of victories. And today, another great victory. Iyad wasn't frightened by the high expectations, aimed high, and filled us all with pride. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, August the 25th at 7 o'clock. On location in Guatemala, Eli Kohanim speaks with former President Jimmy Morales and former Minister of Foreign Affairs Sandra Jovell about the president's decision to move Guatemala's embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and more. 
At 7.30, Jonathan Tobin explores reasons for protests against Israel involving a controversial court case and the status of Jerusalem. At 8, the latest on the field of brain research. At 8.30, Harvard professor Dan Gilbert talks about happiness. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Nobel laureate Eric Kandel, who talks about his life work studying the brain. At 10, an analysis of what constitutes memory. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 25th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.